is a choice you make every day to put someone else's happiness and well-being ahead of your own, to teach the hard lessons, to do the right thing, even when you're not sure what the right thing is, and to forgive yourself over and over again for doing everything wrong. Isn't that how you feel? <laughs> Who's a parent? Okay, so I have my camaraderie here with my parents, my mothers, my fathers. Madam Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmasters, area governor, fellow Toastmasters, and guests. Today is a very special day. Today is my first daughter, Emily's, 20th birthday. So I'm gonna take you back. 20 years plus one week. Imagine, I'm pretty pregnant. I mean, pretty pregnant. And I work in a hotel. And I work, 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 run, 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 run. I'm sure you can't imagine that. Fast pace, going, going, going. I have no one really to stop me from going, going, going because my husband is in Virginia. We live in California. That's kind of a problem, right? I'm in California, he's in Virginia. I'm pregnant, and I have false labor, and I go to the hospital. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm having this baby. Pete's not here. It's good. And then she doesn't come. And that's a good thing, because guess what? I went home and I realized there's nowhere for her to sleep. There's nothing for her to wear. And I'm quite sure I don't even know how to change a diaper. Okay, everything was still in the boxes and in the drawers and everything like that. I guess I thought if I don't get it ready, she won't come. That was my philosophy. Obviously it all worked out. So I'm gonna fast forward you to when she's in her childhood. Emily is a ballerina. Imagine, you know, a little four-year-old in her little pink tutu, dancing and prancing around, and we're so proud of her, and we're going to the recitals, and we're paying all the money, and we're encouraging her, and I'm so excited about it that even I decide I'm going to join the dance studio. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Mother-daughter dancing. Oh, we're having so much fun. And one of her recitals in particular, when she was 10, she was in her ballet class, and now, you know, you can kind of see that she's actually like a ballerina. Like, she's really doing it. She's got the moves, we're so excited. Oh my gosh, maybe next year she'll go to the advanced class. And she comes out in her little tutu. We hand her flowers. My parents are there. We're all like, oh my God, I can't wait till next year. And Emily says, Mom, I want to be a softball player. <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> so, softball begins for my daughter. But I'm actually gonna fast forward you a little bit further. Dating. Anybody? Anybody? You said you were parents. <laughs> Dating, okay. Let's be clear. No one will ever be good enough for my daughter. And I have to work on that. And you know, at first when she started dating, I was a little worried, you know, that she would just follow along. And now, quite honestly, this past week when she was home, I'm worried about the boy. I'm a little afraid for him um, now with Emily. So we're a very close family, I think you know that. And we like to travel. And we've done that all our lives. Because of the softball, we didn't just do it, you know, locally. We traveled, 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 and there's tons of stories that went along with that. So we were always together. We're a very close family. We do everything together. But, you know, they grow up. Things have changed. Emily started college a year and a half ago. But still, we've been together. We, we go on family vacations. It's, it's a lot of fun. So this summer, I have these great plans, right? My other daughter is going to be going to college too, so here's my family. This is our last summer together. Where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? Where are we gonna travel to? Let's just have family dinners. Let's 
Let's play games. Let's build puzzles. I have all these great ideas. Let the sisters get together and talk about college. And just one big celebration, right? This is going to be a great summer. So while Emily was visiting last week on spring break, guess what she said to me? Mom, I want to stay in Tampa. Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>